Hey YouTube, Zero Tech Skills here with you uh, with another unboxing. Um, what I have here is sort of an impulse buy. Um, I found two uh, Benchmade knives that I don't own, and I saw them at a very good price. And well, they have been discontinued, so I said, "What the heck? Might as well pick them up before uh, before I'm unable to find them again for uh, this cheap of a price." And well, they looked good at 1 o'clock in the morning when I was ordering them, so <laughs> I said, what the hell, I'll pull the trigger and uh, hope for the best because, well, the price was right, and um, they are discontinued, so so I uh, decided to buy them, but, but anyway, let's see what we have then, huh, shall we? Okay, let's see, let's, let's shy aside, should we open, let's look at this side right here. I like these boxes, they're easy to open. No fuss. Yep. One red class and one blue class knife. Let's look at the red class first. Get the popcorn out of the way. Alright, the first knife. The first discontinued knife that I purchased is the Benchmade. Pika 2. This is my first time handling the knife. Definitely a light feeling knife. Um, this is the titanium version, so it has the titanium scales and um, the spacers are titanium too, I believe. Feels nice, feels pretty, I mean, in hand it feels really nice. Um, definitely feels lighter than my. Uh, Delica or Endura from uh, Spyderco, so um, tight the clip seems a little flimsy though. Hmm. Let's see, there's no up and down, side to side play, which is pretty cool. Um, nice looking knife. Um, you can't beat the price for what 30, 34, 35 bucks. Um, seems like a seems like a cool knife. Opening is pretty quick. So that's pretty cool, but this will be my. Uh, I think I'll uh, use this as my EDC knife. Replace my Vex right here. Pretty much the same. So uh, I think the blade on this guy is three and a half inches. Um, yeah. So that's the Pika 2 with titanium. Not bad. It's just the clip. I don't know. Maybe I need to tighten it, tighten it down or something. Anyway, there it is. There's the Pika 2. That's the first knife. And the second knife I got, was also discontinued, I believe last year, is Blue Class Knife. Let's see, get this guy out of here. And this, I looked pretty cool in the pictures. <laughs> Ooh, heavy. But nice though, I like I like heft to my knives. This is the Benchmade Apparition 670. Oof. Wow, that was quick. Opening is really quick. I guess there's a torsion bar in there, or I think they call it an optimizer, I'm not sure. Um, I guess this is the um, a Pardu and Osborne um, design we both collaborated on this knife um, there's no blade play well, a little bit I get not a little bit yeah, side to side not not too big of a deal um, pretty cool knife three and a half uh, actually 3.4 inch uh, blade uh, was this FRN scales maybe stainless steel bolsters um, and the optimizer bar, there's an optimizer bar in there, I guess. I think you can switch that off. I think you can switch it off right here. There's a little, uh, you can use a little Allen wrench or something to turn it off, I believe. But it's, it's, opening is sick on this. I mean, fastest opening knife I've ever experienced. But pretty cool, there it is, the, um, 670 uh, uh, Benchmade uh, Apparition, very cool knife. 
feels nice in hand. Um, scales a little different, but they also feel nice. A little jimping on top here. Cool looking knife. Well, I'm happy with my purchases. And my two Benchmades right there. The Apparition and the Pika 2. And there we have it, folks. Oh, where's the Vex? Here's the Vex. In comparison. Uh, let me look at this. There we go. That's better. And that's my unboxing for today, guys. Thank you for watching, and this is Zero Tech Skills, and I'm out.